Joe. Good morning. Hey, does anybody uh, recognize the photograph here on the screen? Bill Lowe's? He doesn't. Brianna? Okay. Want to share with anybody? Or? Uh, is it it's not Falling Falls? No. This is Falling Water, uh, a house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, who is my inspiration person today, my significant person today. It was designed for the Kaufman family who were uh, merchants in the Pittsburgh area back in uh, the 1930s. So here's a photograph of Mr. Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, kind of a cantankerous old man. Uh, he had a fantastic body of work uh, spanning over 65 years. Um, <laughs> some of his most notable works are Falling Water, the Guggenheim in Manhattan, uh, the Guggenheim Museum, the Johnson Wax Building in Racine, Wisconsin, and uh, Price Tower in uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> And there is a private residence here in Lakewood that has been kept off of all of the radar off the internet. That was also de designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, I have had the pleasure of actually visiting the home and having a very nice tour. Um, great people that owned it, so I can tell you where it is after class. Uh, his great success came at the price of poorly designed buildings. He was not an engineer, he was an architect and a visionary. So the Johnson Wax building, funny story about that was that the roof leaked and continues to leak today. That was part of the charm of the building, quote unquote. Uh, the president of Johnson Wax at the time kept a bucket in his office. And the leak that was above his desk, he would just put the bucket on his desk during the rainstorms. Um, he, Frank, was a taskmaster. He, didn't really employ people. He had minions working under him, draftsmen and other architects. Uh, when he developed Talos and West in uh, Arizona, he just basically loaded up carloads of people and drove them west. Um, didn't pay them virtually slave labor. They raised their own produce and vegetables and, and dairy animals, things like that on the farm. Um, that was where he produced some of his greater work stuff. Um, he, Billy, I'm going to come back there. <laughs> he borrowed heavily and was mortgaged to the hill, died virtually penniless. His life was also filled with personal tragedy and scandal. He, he had a servant that uh, torched his house in Wisconsin, and as the family was fleeing, he murdered his wife and two children. The servant mur murdered his wife and two children, which was kind of, I think, where he basically had a nervous breakdown and couldn't handle things. Um, he also had an affair with one of his clients, which back in 1907 was very out of the ordinary. It made national news. He ran away to Europe <coughs> to hide from it, hide from the scandal, and waited for it to die down. Hopefully I've enlightened you about some of Frank Lloyd Wright, one of America's greatest architects. Just remember that great works are often remembered, not necessarily how they were achieved. So go, go do good things. Don't tell anybody how you